All right. So, uh, so the first up uh, for the books of the summer was a book that I actually um, had seen in a couple different book reviews. I think one was on Vox.com, one was on uh, LitHub.com. But both of these reviews that I had come across were very effusive in their praise of this frankly little-known novel from 1965. Uh, but uh, even one of the reviews called it a perfect novel. In fact, someone wrote a biography of the author John Williams uh, called The Man Who Wrote the Perfect Novel. So it was a book that really demanded some attention from me as much as I love reading. Uh, but as I said, it's by John Williams, not to be confused with the movie sco uh, score composer, uh, who did Star Wars and Jaws and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, but it's a novel of university life, and so I was both intrigued and a little hesitant. Uh, I have about a, uh, I've only really read two books of university life. Uh, I th those are the only two I can think of, um, Whisper the River and Rubble in Autumn. Whisper in the River by Feral Sams, I do not recommend at all. I couldn't stand it. Uh, Mercer University made me read it. I love you, Mercer, but I hated the book. Um, and then the other was uh, Rebel Nom was by Michael Shera, who is my second favorite writer. If I ever do a series on Michael Shera, I will talk about that book more. But I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, and it's an interesting book because... Um, it follows a professor named William Stoner, hence the title of the book, who is trying to pursue this life in academia. In a lot of ways, it's an internal life. And the things external really don't go well for him. He, uh, his life is, while not the worst, um, is, a lot, is really a struggle uh, in a lot of ways. Um, and his moments of great happiness come from that internal life that he sought to create for himself. Uh, but the best part of the book, I, I'm not going to say it's a perfect novel. That, I think, is an odd description of the book. But it is a very well-crafted book. Um, a lot of times, re going from one chapter into the next is pretty easy to do. It flows well that way, so you always want to keep reading. Um, his prose is clean, simple, but beautiful. So... Uh, really wonderful in, in that sense. Um, so, in the end, highly recommend this book. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. Um, and even though it's serious literature, it's, I don't think it's a difficult read. So, as long as you're just willing to read it, I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So, uh, first book of the summer, Stoner by John Williams. Go give it a read. <laughs> 